Hi, I'm Frankie B. And this video is about how to restore your iPad back to factory settings. If you've forgotten your passcode and you've entered it too many times, then your iPad will be locked and will be disabled. And even if you remember your passcode, you will not be allowed to enter it because your iPad will be disabled. So to get you up and running again, you will need to put your iPad through the recovery and restore process to revert it back to factory settings. Everything on your iPad will be lost. So that's why you need to back up everything before you start this process. But don't worry too much because you can always recover them from your iTunes or your iCloud account. So in this video we will be going through the steps of how to restore your iPod. 1. Connecting to iTunes. 2. Recovery mode. 3. Download the software. 4. Update and restore your iPod. And 5. Reboot and set up your iPod. So without further ado, let's do it. Now, first things first, and the first thing you need to do is power up your iPod. Now you'll see it says that your iPod is disabled and you need to connect to iTunes to restore your iPod. So we connect or charging cable lead the USB end to your computer and hold down the home button on your iPod whilst connecting the lightning cable spade shape end to your iPod and that will put your iPod into the recovery mode as you can see and now we can put the iPod to one side for now and go to your computer for the restore setup. Now you'll see this image saying that your iPad is detected and your iPad is in the recovery mode. And you must restore this iPad before it can be used with iTunes. Then click OK. Then click Restore iPad. Agree to download the required software for you. You will be able to view the progress bar to see what's downloaded and how much time is left. And when your download is finished, it will start to update and restore your iPod. When it's done, your iPod will reboot and you will see the Apple logo and the progress bar as it's in the loading up process. And when that's finished, press the home button. And now you can set up your iPad as you would with a new one just out of the box. And there you have it. You're done. And that's how you restore your iPad via iTunes. Well, that's about wraps it up for this video. So if you like this video and it helped you, don't forget to hit the like button down below. Leave a like, subscribe, comment and share this video if you'd like to see more videos like these. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Ciao for now. Frankie B. Thank you very much.